Ashraf Grady. I think you are a senior expert from the Arab region and you're focusing, you have a big uh, wide range of topics, renewable energies and energy efficiency, but uh, also focus on solar heating and cooling. And uh, you have several heads, which we come to in the interview. You hold a speech about the challenges and expectations of solar heating and cooling in the Arab regions. Can you give me give us an overview? Actually, uh, the Arab region is one of the most promising region for future solar heating and cooling. Um, we are located in the mm, solar belt. We have the highest solar radiation worldwide. And the heating market, and especially water heating market, have been started long time ago in some countries, and uh, it, it reached actually a very good position in, in uh, for example, uh, in uh, Palestine, in Tunisia, in, in Lebanon. But at the same time, we are focusing now again on how to increase or upscale that market to better situation, and in how to integrate solar cooling. Yeah, for future uh, cooling purposes uh, in, in Gulf states, for example, and in other Arab region, it is very demanded now because yeah, it consumes a huge amount of electricity that actually disturbs the overall energy system. You are the initiator of a certification scheme called Shamsi, specialized on the Arab region. Can you give us more details on that? Yeah, um, actually in 2010, 2011, uh, there were uh, some sort of uh, a market uh, confusion caused by the unfair competition between the local manufacturers, solar water heaters, and the imported cheap, low-quality uh, systems. And that, uh, that actually forces us to work on uh, uh, something to balance the, the market. And th this was uh, Shamsi certification scheme. It was inspired by uh, the solar key mark, and at that time, uh, CRI and the League of Arab States and the Arab Industrial Development and Mining Organization worked together uh, with the Stuttgart University to um, develop a Shamsi certification um, rules in the, in the beginning. And then actually we started to um, collect all the information needed and to bring uh, together all the people working in this field. And at the same time, I would, I would like to say that also UNEP uh, played a very important role in supporting Shamsi since it started till these days, and we are still in a very good cooperation with them. Um, later on, um, we are now in a, in a good position, and uh, we are looking to have the first certified product next year in one of the um, focused countries, uh, Tunisia, Lebanon, Jordan, or Egypt. So is this ruled by like an institute or by a network? Can you explain this a bit closer? Yeah, uh, actually it's ruled by a network. So um, when we started, we formed a network from different representatives of the uh, member states. Um, actually, some of them are from testing facilities. Some of them are from uh, governmental institutions like ministries or uh, energy agencies. And some of them from standardization organizations. We have different structure from Europe, yeah, it's not very clear to have a certification bodies or inspection bodies. So we try to go to bring together um, all the experts working in this uh, uh, field. And actually we succeeded to bring the experts from 17 countries, up to 43 participants and members in, in Champsy Network. And now the network is mandated to manage the overall certification process under Champsy. Well, you, I think you already mentioned RICRI, which is an institute also responsible for renewables in your region. And uh, this uh, RICRI institute recently became member and sponsor of the Solar Heating and Cooling Program, an international research program. What was the idea behind that? Actually, um, the idea is to connect between uh, Shamsi as a project initiated by RICRI and between what's going on in the, in the tasks related to certification and, and solar water heated ratings in the uh, uh, IA, uh, SHC program. So uh, we wanted to bring together and also uh, our, our uh, aim is to have this certification scheme up to the international level by 2021. And we wanted to be aligned with everything what's happening in the world and that's why we are uh, in the program. At the same time, actually, now we have uh, new uh, initiatives. So we are working on solar cooling, and uh, this is also aligned with some tasks in the program. 
and I think there will be yeah, more cooperation between the Arab region and the program in the future. So are you personally also involved in the research work itself? Yeah, I will, I will be a leader for a subtask uh, related to certification, and this is the first time actually uh, to take this responsibility starting from next year. Great. You know, it seems that the Arab region, very famous for to be oil producer rather, you think they will change into a production hub for renewables in the future or solar technology in special? Actually, targets announced by the Arab countries, yeah, says that this is the future of uh, uh, the region. Because, yeah, you know, uh, oil price drop is um, uh, now a big problem and it's created new perspectives how to look at energy uh, sector itself. Uh, many countries have a very promising plans. Big projects is being uh, uh, under implementation these days in many technologies. And actually, the lowest uh, photovoltaics on grid uh, prices is in the region. So um, I believe that in few years, uh, the Arab region will be one of the most important region for renewable energy share in the overall energy mix uh, worldwide. So we will have a lot of solar news from your region. Thank you very much for this interview. Thank you very much.